Hello everyone. In the previous video, we are successfully able to pass the dynamic values to our PDF file. So we are generating our PDF. We are naming this document 18. So it means that we uh, downloaded this document 18 times. So our document name is same. So how to generate the unique name? So let's get started. So here, uh, basically we are generating this uh, downloading this PDF file but uh, if you want to download a specific uh, file name so you need to define this in your download parameter so here you need to specify your uh, file name so I'm going to name this uh, email uh, template right so it's going to render this as email template so now let's close this one and hit enter so it's going to generate it as email template and yes now it's generating is as email template and we forgot to add dot pdf file so that's why it's behaving like this so let's go back and uh, add dot pdf so it will generate the pdf extension also oh i need to add this uh, generate pdf okay and yes now it's generated as pdf and it's working as expected so it means that now we are able to add this as a custom email a custom name of this template so if i enter uh, again so it's going to again the same name so how we can get rid of them so let's go here and here we are going to add uh, a unique uh, uh, let me remove this uh, pdf and here i'm going to add uh, concat uh, can get a time object to why I'm going to add a time object because this time uh, will return an instance of hour, minute and second in, in an integer form. So that's why we are adding this time object and then after this I'm going to add this dot PDF. After this time I want to concat this with this PDF. So save this one and uh, let's hit enter and generate the PDF. And yes, now it's generating it. Uh, let me open this in the proper folder to show you. And yes, it's generating email template and then edit the timestamp and then dot PDF file. So it means that it will generate every time unique email. So it's not going to print a one, two and stuff like that. So if you can generate multiple, so it's gener uh, going to generate the uh, different name why because our time is changing every second so if uh, you are running on the uh, running it on the server and you face that you are uh, executing uh, 100 pdf and it's generating uh, one or two sames in the 100 file so how to make them unique because server is processing uh, very much very much faster that's why maybe it's uh, error will be happen so how to get rid of this error so type there here you need to type or uh, concat this with the rand right so you can also string str right so i'm going to rand this uh, one to i'm going to make this uh, one to 99 so it's going to generate a random 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 number between this number so let me name there like this it's going to generate the number between this setting so you can define any of uh, whatever you want so let's uh, uh, hit enter and it's going to generate the PDF and it says rand expect to exactly two argument okay let me check that uh, what's going wrong and oh I <laughs> did this in a wrong I passed this in the same parameter so save this one and let's get refresh so it's going to generate the PDF and yes it's generating so let me generate it uh, properly without any error so it's displaying us error because it's downloading the pdf okay so this pdf is this one and it's adding the unique uh, string here random number right so our now uh, email name is unique right so let me go to the template and here i'm going to remove this one because it's looking very weird right let me also check the video size maybe it's going bigger and no it's not going bigger so let's uh, go back and here we added this uh, a random property so you can also add a random string here so you can make this unique str and then here is a random and 
you can define your length character length so i'm going to make this 10 so it will generate the 10 character random string right so now let's hit enter so it's going to oh i need to add this at the top okay go back here use and illuminate illuminate and then we need to go to the support to and then add this oops add this at the top like uh, this okay and hit enter so it's generated this string and with this so uh, character a 10 so random string so we are successfully able to generate the unique strings in the next video we are going to cover our next stuff so i will meet you in the next one bye bye